Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that the answers are always with us. All we have to do is use the power of discernment and more importantly, listen. By listen, I mean set your intention for the answers that you seek or even the questions that you seek. And the God, universe, however you identify this force that we originate from, the answers will be provided. It may be in hearing the passive buyers having a specific conversation that gives an answer, gives insight into something that you're looking to solve. Sometimes it may be a song that comes on the radio or pops in your head. It can be something that comes onto the television or on your screen, your device. All these are different forms of listening, not just with our physical ears, but with our spirit being open to the guidance of your God universe. You get all the answers that you need. And more importantly, the opposite happens as well. For many of the answers that you do receive, it may lead you to more questions and that's okay. That's part of the evolving of our spirit. Now, as we tune into ourselves more and we give attention to our inner world, we begin to see ourselves in a new light. We begin to offer ourselves grace and in doing so, we give that to others. But the beauty in this understanding is being able to truthfully see how we do craft our daily life, our moment to moment reality. It's not about life being perfect because that's a matter of perspective. It's about seeking fulfillment within ourselves. It's about truly setting the intention to create our heaven on this earthly plane. Now, everybody's heaven is individual to them. It doesn't matter what other people say. It's about how you define it and more importantly, how you craft do your intention. Sometimes this takes self-assessment. Sometimes it simply takes a fun experiment of scripting out or writing down notes on all the things that you believe would be ideal for the heaven of your reality. It doesn't matter how you go about it. It's not about the process. It's about the outcome. And it's having an honest conversation with yourself about how you want to live. How you want your reality to show up for you. And in doing so, you also begin to see how you want to show up for your reality. There's no end all be all. Because we're forever changing. We're forever coming to these newer realizations. That's the beauty of the journey. So today I remind you to exercise your discernment. More importantly, listen to yourself and to the universe around you. And although some of the messages that we receive may not feel comfortable at the time, it may in the end be exactly what we need to hear to invoke the change that we want to see. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.